Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got one for you today. We're using the free version of the great Divi Supreme modules here. And we've got a flip hero section. We've got a little section up there with an icon, title and a little bit of blurb. When we hover over it, it's going to flip, reveal a different image with some more stuff and a call to action button right there. That's a nice little feature. If people are mousing around your site and something like that happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Like I say, we're using the free version of Divi Supreme modules for this today, and you can find the link below the video. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work, and I'll simply delete this row right here, and we'll start from scratch. In fact, I'll delete this section also. I'll create a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. You may ask why we don't use a full width, because we are going to make it full width. And the reason is because you've got limited modules to use there. So let's use a regular. I'm going to put in a single column. All the light gray ones here are the ones you get a standard with Divi, plenty enough to build any sort of site. The light blue ones here is the modules that you get with the Divi Supreme modules free version. And we'll be using one of these today. And there's some more of the regular versions here. If you've got WooCommerce installed, Divi will also give you another dozen or so of these modules to display your products. So let's go back up. And I'm going to use the flip box today, Supreme flip box. And there it is. I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to leave that just as it is. Obviously, put whatever title in there. You can put a subtitle in. and put your content down below. And like any text module, you can bold, italicize, paragraph, make headings, do links, and add media if you want to. I'm going to keep this fairly simple today by just pretty much leaving it like that. You can add an image or an icon. I'm going to use an icon for this today. And just go down and choose whatever icon you want from Divi's icon list down here, Elegant Themes Icons. There it is right there. And as you can see, when I hover over it, it's flipping, but there's nothing on the other side for it to flip to, so we're getting nothing there. Okay, link wise, if you want to link this to somewhere, you can do right here. Best practice is if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, put it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Now, for me, for this today, there's no real point, I don't think, in having a link on this one because as soon as you hover over it, it's going to flip to the next one. So I'm going to leave that blank and I don't want a button in there either. You could have a button that says hover or whatever you want it if you want to, but I'm going to leave that as is. Background wise, I'm going to put a color in. Just going to keep it blue and let's add an image and we'll blend the two together, which are great effects for adding text on top. And I guess I'll use the same as I used before. And there we've got our little module. So let's do a little bit of styling here. Now in the image right here, I want to go down and use one of the image blends right here. I'm going to use the multiply, which will multiply the color and the image. As you see, it's gone a darker blue. And when I make the text lighter, that's going to make things stand out a lot easier, but still reveal the image behind there. So let's move over to our design. Image and icon, I'm simply going to get that make that white. If you want to circle it, you can do. If you want to place it on the left, you can do. And if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can hit the icon font size and change it that way. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Text wise, I'm going to pop everything into the middle and I'm going to make it light in color. There we go. Okay. Now my title text and body text, you can do things differently for each of these here. I'm going to make that title more of a title. And I'm going to go in to the font here. And Divi as standard comes with absolutely crazy amount of fonts. And to audition one, simply hover over it. And it'll give you an example of what that font is. I'm going to use Anton for my title here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Text color is fine. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And of course, if you want to, you can change your letter sp spacing and everything like that. If you do something with Divi just and you don't like it, just select it and delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. In fact, I'm going to make that even bigger. 
And you may have noticed we're kind of pushing things off the top and off the bottom there. But we can fix that in a minute by giving our little flip box a height. So I'm going to say I'm fairly happy with the actual content there. So to fix the size, and we can go into design, still in our flip box item, go down to sizing, and let's do minimum height and make it the height that you want it. I'm going to have mine about 350. Slide it or type in a value, and you can fine tune with the little arrows to the side there. Let's just save that, and we'll do the same thing in the main module. So, flip box item settings. I'm going to save this back into the main one here. We can go over to design and sizing on this one. And we'll make the whole thing min height, minimum height 350. And you can just type in the value. You don't have to put the picks in, it'll put it in there for you. That way, everything's going to match up. Okay, so we've got that and we're flipping to nothing. So let's add our second one back to the content. There's our first one. I'm simply going to clone it. Go into the second one here. I'm not going to change the title or subtitle or anything like that. I'm going to remove the icon though and I think I'll have a button. So image and icon. And take that down. And we've actually got something here. I'm going to put a different image in the background there. But before that, let's add the button. And to do that, just click on the button. We're still in the content now. And before the button's going to show up, we've got to give it a URL. So put what you want the button to say there. And the URL below. I'm just going to put a hashtag. And as you can see, our button's turned up. And that's the default button style. If you want to style your button, you can do so over here and use custom styles for button and you can change coloring and text and everything like that. But for me, that's actually going to work quite well today. Great. And for the button link, it's exactly the same best practices. If you're linking to your own site, open it in the same window. If you're linking off site, put it in a new tab. All right. Well, we want this to be full width. So let's save this. And I also want to change that image. So while we're in the content, let's go down to background. And let's change the image. So I'm going to go over the image. I'm still going to leave the same color in the background. I'm just going to put the image of the dolphins in there. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Well, let's just save what we've got here. Save the main flip box settings. I'm going to pop this section up to the top and I'm going to make it I'm going to make my row full width while we're in the section I want to take away any padding top and bottom on the section so let's hit that design I'm in the section settings I'm going to go down to spacing I'm simply going to put a zero in the padding and hit the chain and it'll do the opposite side as well that's great and I think I'll give this a black background as well. So when it flips, it's just flipping over a dark background rather than a white background here. So back in the content of our section, background. Let me just make it black. There we go. And there's still a bit of space top and bottom. That's in the row. So let's go in there and let's make this a little different. For the row, we've got a blue tab for the section, green tab for the row, and dark tab for the module. In the row. I'm going to go to design, do the same that we did for the section with the spacing. Simply going to put a zero in there, hit the chain. There we go, and our little flip box is buffered up to the top and bottom there. But of course, we want it to spread the whole width. So do that. We need to close up the spacing. We'll go to sizing just above it, width. 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, and I'm going to paste it in the max width just below, or you can type it in if you prefer, control V to paste, and there we've got it full width. Now we may want to adjust the height now a little bit, we've done that. So let's get out of our row, we'll go back into our module. Let's make them a little bit deeper. So let's go back in here, design, min height, which is sizing. Here's the 350. Let's make it 450. And we'll do the same for the next one. And 
and we'll do the same for the main module also. So let's save this back into the main settings here, design. If we don't do that, we're going to have an overlap with these boxes right here. So design, sizing on this one too, and we'll up this one to 450 also. And we're good to go. Let's save our changes. There's our little flip box there. It's going to flip over the back black background there. Let's save our changes. Have a look what it's going to look like on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And there it is. There's our little flip box. When we hover over it, it's going to flip around. Got our little call to action button there. When we get off of it, it's going to flip back. We've got a bit of overflow going on there. When I take my mouse off, you'll see it flowing down to our next section. If you don't want to see that, just enable the visual builder again. Let's go into our module where we set our height initially. Go over to the advanced settings. We can go to visibility, horizontal and vertical overflow. We can change these both to hidden. Now let's save and exit the Visual Builder one more time. And we've got no overflow there, it's just flipping within the actual module height itself. So there you go guys, there's how to create a hero section that flips on hover with a little call to action button there. Like I say, these hover sections are great if people are mousing around your site and something like that happens. It's going to get their attention very quickly which is what you want with the website so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful once again we've been using the free version of the fantastic divi supreme modules plugin to do this today and you can download it from the link below the video so once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day